Welcome to our presentation. In this work, we present a new gradient estimator for discrete latent variable models. This is joint work with Chris Madison and Andreas Krause. My name is Max Paulus, and I'm going to walk you through this presentation. Our motivation is that there's a lot of data that is discreetly structured in some way or another. For example, a lot of data can be naturally grouped or categorized. MNIST digits are a very obvious example. But this also holds true for data from other domains, such as genomics. Other data may have an underlying tree or graph structure. For example, a sentence and its parse tree in natural language processing. Or data of social networks or geographies. In practice, it may often be expensive or impossible to acquire labels of a discrete structure on large scale. As a result, the discrete structure might be unobserved. Then, it is natural to model this data with a discrete latent variable model. In this work, we do this, and we focus on latent variable models with categorical structure. Here is a simple example for such a model, a variational autoencoder on the MNIST dataset with a categorical latent variable D. This model takes an image from the dataset as an input and uses a trainable encoder. This could be a convolutional or feed forward neural network, for example, to output the logits of a categorical distribution. We use theta and green arrays to denote the logits. It then samples D from a categorical distribution parameterized by theta. D is represented here as a one-hot vector using a red square for indicating a one and white squares for zeros. One at the second position indicates the second category was sampled. Finally, D is passed to a trainable decoder. Again, this could be a neural network to output a reconstruction of the original input image. The key challenge in training such models using gradient-based techniques is to backpropagate through the latent variable D. Formally, we can phrase this problem as seeking estimators of the gradient of our objective with respect to theta. The objective is an expectation over a categorical variable of some continuously differentiable function f. For example, in the case of a VAE, f will be a log likelihood ratio. That additionally depends on the parameters of the decoder, theta, and the original reconstructed input image. But this dependence is suppressed here for clarity, and it poses no additional difficulty. Typically, the expectation will be intractable to evaluate, and we need to estimate both the objective and its gradient. A variety of estimators for gradient have been proposed previously. We can categorize them depending on whether they require multiple loss evaluations, such as Reba, Benko, or Mulprop. Or a single loss evaluation, because with ever larger models, loss evaluations tend to be expensive, single loss evaluation estimators are particularly desirable. These estimators can be further grouped into two groups that modify the computation, as with Gumbel softmaps, and those that do not. Estimators that do not modify the forward computation may be preferred, because they avoid the accumulation of errors in the forward pass and they allow the model to exploit the sparsity of discrete computation. Those estimators that do not modify the forward computation mostly fall in two groups. The first group is based on the score function trick and includes reinforce and variance thereof. These estimators are unbiased but tend to be of higher variance or require elaborate control variance. The second group are estimators that introduce bias to reduce variance and are mostly known as straight through estimators. In this work, we introduce a new straight-through estimator, Gamble Rao Monte Carlo. Our estimator is a single loss evaluation and unmodified forward computation estimator. It is based on a Rao bipolarization of a straight-through Gamble Softmax estimator. Therefore, we will next review the Gamble Softmax estimator and its straight-through variant. The idea of a Gamble Softmax estimator is to relax the discrete variability to a continuous variable S that admits a biased gradient. To denote the continuous variable, we use a dense array with shades of red to indicate that its entries will take values between 0 and 1. To compute S, Gumbel Softmax uses a reparameterization of D based on the Gumbel Max trick. In this reparameterization, the logits of a categorical distribution are perturbed by adding noise from a standard Gumbel distribution. We use a blue array from a Gumbel noise. The properties of the Gumbel distribution guarantee that the argmax of the perturbed logits will be distributed as a sample from the categorical distribution. The relaxation S is obtained by replacing the argmax operation with a tempered softmax. 
Notice that the softmax operation preserves the order of the elements. In particular, the largest softmax value is at the second position, just as indicated by the discrete variable d. For training a model, Gumbel softmax uses the continuous variable s in place of the discrete variable d in the forward and in the backward pass. In particular, the continuous variable s will admit a reparameterization gradient. This gradient is used as a bias gradient estimator for learning the logits of a categorical distribution. In contrast, the straight through variant of the Gumbel softmax still uses d in the forward pass and only differentiates to s in the backward pass. Our key insight is that there are many continuous variables s that correspond to the same discrete variable d. This is illustrated in the cartoon, where we display several dense arrays whose largest element is at the second position. For a given d, it is easy to sample multiple continuous variables s. In particular, we can exploit the following reparameterization. Given the logits of a categorical distribution, we first sample d from the categorical distribution. Given d and theta, we can sample Gumbel perturbations that satisfy the constraint that the largest perturbed logit will be at the position indicated by d. Finally, we add both perturbations to theta and apply the template softmax relaxation to obtain a set of continuous variables s. Now we can still use d in the forward pass, but average over many s in the backward pass to give our new gradient estimator. In this equation, k is the number of Gumbel vectors sampled, and inside a bracket we average over Jacobians of the softmax, which I evaluated at the perturbed logits. We call our new estimator Gumbel Rao Monte Carlo. The name is because our estimator uses Monte Carlo to approximate the Rao Blackwell estimator of the straight through Gumbel softmax. The Rao Blackwell estimator marginalizes out the Gumbel perturbations for a given d to reduce variance. And our estimator approximates this expectation using Monte Carlo. This property guarantees that our estimator will have smaller variance than straight through Gumbel softmax, while its expectation is the same at a given temperature. From a higher level perspective, our estimator draws additional samples of the Gumbel perturbations to reduce variance. We can compare and contrast it with other methods that use additional samples to reduce variance. There are at least two others. Firstly, we can draw additional samples from the dataset to increase the batch size and reduce the variance of gradient estimators. This comes at higher computational costs. In particular, every additional sample will require an additional call to the encoder to compute the input-dependent logits and an additional call to the decoder to process the sample categorical variables and evaluate the loss. Secondly, and slightly cheaper, for the same input image and associated categorical distribution, we may draw additional samples from the latent distribution. This does not require any additional calls to the encoder because samples are drawn from the same distribution, but every drawn sample will require an additional call to the decoder. In contrast, our method does not use additional calls to either encoder or decoder because all the samples are drawn from the same distribution and for all samples, the same D is still used by the decoder. Finally, we note recent work that generalizes the Gumbel softmax to other discrete structures. For example, k-hot vectors, permutation matrices, or adjacency matrices of graph-based structures. Building on this work, the variance of S rate through estimators could be reduced when efficient reparameterizations of perturbation given the discrete variable are available. We evaluate the effectiveness of a gradient estimator for training latent variable models with categorical structure. For this, we considered first a toy task, quadratic programming on the simplex. Secondly, a model from natural language processing with a latent pass tree structure. And thirdly, generative modeling using categorical variational autoencoders on MNIST as seen throughout this presentation. In this presentation, we will restrict our attention to the first and third experiment. Let's consider the following stochastic quadratic problem, problem on the probability simplex for some matrix A and some constant C. This is a toy task designed to better understand the sensitivity of our method to the temperature parameter tau. In particular, in three dimensions, we can visualize the objective function over the entire simplex. Cooler colors indicate a better objective value. C is placed at the center of the simplex and denoted by a green dot. 
we can also visualize the rain seduction our estimator achieves over straight through Gamble softmax at different temperatures. This is done in three visualizations for temperatures 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1.0. Warmer colors indicate a larger variance reduction. The reduction is measured on the log scale, and we can achieve variance reductions of up to two orders of magnitude at low temperatures. The pattern of variance reduction is not always intuitive, but tends to be larger at the corners of the simplex and at small temperatures. The key takeaway from this is that Gamble Rao Monte Carlo may expand the range of trainable temperatures to those that have prohibitively high variance for straight through Gamble softmax. And thus, our estimator may make trading off bias and variance via the temperature parameter more effective. Next, consider the categorical VAE model that we have seen throughout this presentation. On this model, we train Gamble Rao Monte Carlo for various numbers of Monte Carlo samples. We also train various straight through estimators as baselines, and we compare against Gumpel softmax and reinforce with an exponential moving average baseline. We also train models at different batch sizes and for different arities of the categorical variable. And we optimize our models using random search over the hyperparameters. In particular, the hyperparameters include the temperature that is optimized independently for each method. The following table shows negative lower bounds on the log likelihood on the MNIST test set. Lower is better. The table shows our estimator with 10, 100, and 1000 Monte Carlo samples. More samples tend to improve performance, but the improvements eventually saturate. And we can observe improvements for sometimes as little as 10 Monte Carlo samples. Our estimator outperforms other straight through estimators. The improvements over other straight through estimators are sometimes modest but persistent. They tend to be more pronounced in small batch sizes and at higher arities. In this regime, our estimator is also competitive with a Gumbel softmax estimator, the de facto state of the art single loss evaluation estimator. During training, we also measured the variance reduction our estimator achieves. Here, we plot a trajectory for a model and compare the variance of straight through Gumbel softmax with Gumbel Rao Monte Carlo for 10 and for 1000 samples. Our estimator achieves variance reductions over the entire training trajectory. We confirmed that this is useful for reducing the mean squared error of gradient estimation when the temperature parameter is optimized. Gumbel Rao Monte Carlo achieves a lower mean squared error for gradient estimation at a lower temperature than straight through Gumbel softmax. In practice, we also observed the best models trained with our estimator trained at significantly lower temperatures than the best models trained with straight through Gumbel softmax. To conclude, we introduced Gumbel Rao Monte Carlo, a competitive straight through gradient estimator that more effectively trades off bias and variance and exploits raw localization for gradient estimation. Thank you for your attention.